It all started last fall. There was a new A in town, and he didn't like the way the alphabet was doing its thing. He wanted more respect. He was the first letter, after all. A number one. And it was about time, he said, that everyone knew it too. I first noticed something was wrong when I saw A popping out little A's like crazy. At the same time, capital letters started to go missing. It was no coincidence. A was sending those little letters out to capture the capitals. Then he was sticking the big letters on words where they aren't pronounced. A was silencing the alphabet, one letter at a time. Something had to be done to save the alphabet. The letters who hadn't been captured gathered together in a liquid paper factory. They even called in old M. She had seen many fights between the letters, and she knew exactly what to do. A loves A more than anything else in the world, Old M said. And he'll never give up a chance to kiss himself. And so she sent the letters to school. There was a spelling test that morning, and Old M knew that A would show up when the grades were handed out. The letters waited at the window. Then they spotted A. As the first letter jumped down to kiss the other A, they jumped too. A was captured. The letters carted A back to the liquid paper factory and tossed him onto a banner. It was a peace banner. And yes, now A himself was the silent letter. And he was going to have to be peaceful too. It should have been all over then. But during the night, Silly Sleepy Letter O kicked over a can, and liquid paper spilled out onto the banner. A was now in the word ace. He wasn't silent anymore, and he could move, too. A ran off and gathered together his army of small A's. He wasn't playing games anymore. This was war. The little letters fought with all they had. They poured liquid paper on each other. They tore off each other's limbs and made new letters. They even shouted words that had their enemies' silent letters in them. It wasn't looking good. And inside the factory, some of the letters were getting worried. But old M knew what to do. Gather up all the capital letters in this room, she ordered. And when they were together, old M told the letters to count backwards, starting with Z. Now, outside, A started to feel a little funny. A keyhole suddenly appeared in his shape, and he was sucked into it. A found himself at the foot of the alphabet, and he was angry. So angry that he swelled up and became a giant angry. He advanced on B, but B beat him down. A then ambushed B with an alligator, but B bounced away. A then turned into an axe and attacked. But B broke the axe. And he bruised. And battered. Until A could take no more. After that, A promised to be good. And for a while, he really was. But just for a while. And that's another story.